think I'm a photographer because I can't draw. And I think I'm also a photographer because I can't write. In college, I was a writing and a photography major. And at my sophomore review for writing, my poetry literature teacher told me I didn't have the love of language that was necessary to be a poet. I think it all worked out because it's, I've realized that like I'm making you know, a kind of a visual poetry. There's rhyming and there's metaphors and blah, blah, blah. Governor's Island was the biggest redevelopment project in the city until September 11th happened. The idea was that it's gonna be a park, it's gonna be movies, it's gonna be all kinds of great stuff for people. The Economic Development Corporation, they got the attention of the Public Art Fund and asked them to do some project to kind of gain interest and then also to document it before everything gets demolished. I did the project from October 03 through April 04 and it had to sort of end so that they could get the book and the show and everything together. I would get on the ferry and come out two or three times a week and I was like totally obsessed and crazy about it. You don't usually get to see the city from this angle that close. I think it's gone. Maybe it's up here or was up here. I think that's it. The trees have kind of filled out more. It was so windy and cold. It was crazy. I think I actually did take shelter in there briefly. I just want to check out the gazebo. I kind of like the little flourish there. I hope there isn't poison ivy. I think I have this mild depressive sort of personality. My uncle saw one of my shows and um, it was pictures of haunted houses. And he just came over to me and he said, oh, isn't it the, the most depressing thing in the world is trying to have fun. And I was just like, oh my God, like I love it. It's just kind of crazy to be in like this normally vibrant, like public, loud place, you know? And it's not like a ruin from like, you know, long ago past. It's like a ruin of like, you know, the 70s or 80s. Bud Light, Bud Ice, $1.25. There's some mustard on it. <laughs> so, it's really... This is the Burger King sign. The Burger King sign was like this, backwards, right, right here. Yeah, so I took the picture from like right here. I was definitely attracted to these sorts of like entertainment sort of venues in other parts of my work. So when I got here to photograph, I was so excited about these. But then, you know, it turns out the school is where I made one of the, or a couple of the best pictures. And it had nothing to do with having fun, really. <laughs> I need to be alone to really concentrate. Maybe it's even kind of like being a kid where, you know, you're alone in your backyard digging around and like finding things or you find your little spot. Nurse's office. Guidance counselor. This is it? This doesn't seem right. I don't think this is it. No, it is. I'm just taking this picture for old time's sake. But there's also a um, spider web on it, which I kind of like. Wow. I prefer the unexpected and I hate when on a job they want me to go scout first. I would rather just be totally surprised. Like the Governor's Island thing, it was just amazing to like not know what was gonna happen. I wanna take the picture while I'm still having that surprise. I'm glad this is real and not someone's art installation. <laughs>